We have seen her smolder in movies like Body Heat. We have seen her on stage as Mrs. Robinson in The Graduate. And now Kathleen Turner is once again turning up the heat on Broadway in the classic play Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf. Mm. Kathleen Turner, good morning to you. It's so good nice to morning. have you on. Thank you. We're glad you found time for us. You're doing eight shows a week. It's a yeah, three-hour show. Much. You're a busy, busy lady. Well, it's, it is a three-hour show, but uh, from, from what everyone tells us and from my own feelings, it doesn't feel like that at all. It seems it just zooms. Funny by. you should mention that. I have, a, I have a quote from one of the reviews. Kathleen Turner is an extraordinary Martha. She's funny, vicious, and she is Martha. Dysfunctional and yet so functional that it makes your hair curl on your neck. Who isn't that nice? Do you read reviews? Oh, of course I do. You do? I mean, I don't believe these people say they don't. Thin frankly. skin or thick skin? Do you? Oh, I don't know. I think thin skin. It's hard not to be, you know. But I have to say that these reviews were so fantastic for, for this production of Virginia Woolf that I just loved reading them. And it's been a long time since Virginia Woolf has been on stage. Oh, Thirty some years. I think it was first done by the great actress Uda Hagen. And then uh, Colleen Dewhurst was the last to do it. And Edward Albee, you know, is very, very protective, rightly so, of the, of the play. And he simply, he said he was waiting for the right Martha to come along. And you've been waiting to do this part, I, I understand, for a long time. I read this play when I was in college and said, you know, when I'm 50, I'm doing, I'm doing Martha. And the week I turned 50, I got the part. Well, let's talk for people mm. who, who, whose only memory is the movie. I want to talk to you about yeah. that, but let's let's Ooh, set the stage. It's, it's, a, set it's set on a shabby house on, oh, on, yes. a, on a, a campus, a small campus. New England college. It's a couple, uh, George and Martha. George is played by Bill Irwin, who's been married for 23 years. And he's an associate professor, and she's the daughter of the president of the college. And is had hoped, I think, that George would be uh, more successful in the academic world. And this start place starts one night at 2 o'clock in the morning when they've all come from a faculty party. And this young couple, new couple to the ca campus, Nick and Honey, played by David Harbour and Mireille Enos, come over for a night camp and then end up staying till dawn. And it, this gets pretty raucous. Now, let, let's again set the stage for those mm. who... Most people, their memory is going to be the movie. I know, and, and I find that very disappointing. That bothers and I you. think it's It bothers me, and I think it's been a little tough on our production because I think people's impression from the movie or what they remember is that it's a couple of drunks screaming at each other and of course it's not that at all it's 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 incredibly funny it's very witty Edward and it it really it goes you know up and down there's a great deal of love in it there's a great deal of of understanding it's a, they been, George and Martha have an extraordinary relationship so in fact it's wonderful when the audiences settle in a little and realize that there, you know, there's something else going on, that we get the most wonderful laughs, you know, and then we take them from that right down to and silence I, at the and end. And I'm wondering how you bring, if you bring personal experience in it. We should say you've been married for 20 years. You've got a 17-year-old. Yeah, year old, almost 21. Yeah, and 17-year-old daughter. I do. Does I being do. a mom help in this role in any way? Well, yes and no. In the in the sense that. I, th I think being 50 and being married 20 years helps a lot. And I think, you know, this is certainly not a role that a kid could do. You need more understanding, more time. And not having a child is, leaves, I think it would be quite empty my days. And yeah. I, I feel that Martha's life has been rather wasted. Well, I should ask you a little bit about your life and how you're mm. doing. You've been pretty open about the, the yeah. stuff with the arthritis, yeah, the rheumatoid arthritis, arthritis yeah. and then turning to the bottle ultimately. How I are you doing? Did. Well, oh, I'm doing very well, thank you. I find, in fact, the play can be rather therapeutic in the sense that you take a look at this woman's life and, and how she's behaving and, frankly, I don't want it, you know. I mean, I don't mind playing it, but I don't want to take it home. Right. So I find that that's a, that's a bad reminder in some ways. As to the arthritis, I had my knee replaced in November so that I could do the show because my arthritis had to keep that, you'd eat that to a point where it was just not possible. And I'm holding up pretty well. We'll see what other replacements I need as we go along. Well, you look well. And you talk very openly about being 50. Is that a magical number uh, for you? And how? No, 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 no. I just, it's just where I am, actually 51. It's just where I am. And I feel that, you know, I'm very, very lucky to have such a powerful, wonderful character to play. 
at this age because it's very seldom that women in this country get that kind of challenge right. acting. Well, it is such a pleasure to talk to you, Kathleen Thank Turner. You. Thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate it's it. A pleasure for me. And we'll be right back.